Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the March Cookies Revenge Sophie and Toffee Elves box as well as show you how to make some little gingerbread men using the supplies included. So in this Sophie and Toffee Elves box we received a gingerbread man mold, outfit molds, epoxy resin, polymer clay sprinkles, UV resin, two colours of liquid pigment, E6000 glue, purple iridescent glitter, fine green glitter, and finally a black acrylic marker. So moving on to the tutorial, I've taken my little gingerbread man cookie mold as well as the polymer clay sprinkles, which I'm going to be adding into some resin. But firstly here, I'm just using my blade to cut them up a little bit and make them a bit smaller. I'm then adding some plain UV resin straight into the mold and then here I'm just trying to spread it around. I then sprinkled in the little colourful sprinkles and I'm using a toothpick to kind of strategically place them where I want them just to make sure all the colours were even and also that there were none around the face kind of area. Next up I'm taking this pigment which came in the box and I'm adding some to some UV resin and mixing it around and I did find that it was quite a cooler toned kind of tan colour so I ended up scraping in some of my golden chalk pastel just to brighten the colour up a little bit. Because this was my gingerbread kind of color I then added this into my mold on top of my other layer and spread it around and because it was quite an opaque color I did actually do this in two separate layers just so that the resin could cure properly so here I'm curing the first layer under my UV light and then I'm filling it up the rest of the way with the remaining resin and I'm also curing that layer as well So this is what the little gingerbread man looks like once I take it out of the mold. And my idea for this was to kind of make some siblings, so a brother and a sister gingerbread man. So I guess a gingerbread girl. So the one you just saw was the girl because she's got the sprinkles and she's like super sweet and all. And then we have this one which is the boy gingerbread and I'm adding some little chopped up pieces of brown polymer clay for some chocolate in his design. Next I'm moving on to making the accessories so I'm going to be making a bear, a bow and this one is my own mold and then also a little sword as well. So for the bow which is going to be placed on the gingerbread girl's head I'm adding some glitter and just a small amount of pink pigment mixed into some resin and then I'm just pouring this into the mold and of course curing that as well. Moving on to the bear, I'm making a really light purple. So again, I'm coloring it with some iridescent purple glitter and just a little bit of liquid pigment. And then I'm pouring that straight into the teddy bear mold. To add the color to the sword, I'm actually going to be just dusting in some pigments. So here I have a purple, which I'm adding to the handle of the sword, and then just some fine black glitter, which I'm adding to the main blade part. Once I added in those pigments, I then poured in my UV resin and I cured it under my UV light. It was then time to add some finer detailing to the gingerbread siblings. So I'm starting off by adding some white acrylic paint to the indented sections around the outside before then moving on to the details on the face where again, I used some more acrylic paint. I was just using a toothpick to add the paint and I wasn't really too worried about going outside the lines uh, because it was super easy to scrape away the paint with a blade once it had dried. to seal in the paint and make these pieces look nice and shiny I'm just brushing on some UV varnish and then of course curing it once I have them looking all nice and even and smooth. The final thing I needed to do was glue on the accessories so I'm using the E6000 glue that came in the box and I'm just applying a small amount onto the gingerbread. Because this glue is of course air dry and not like an instant super glue dry, I had to prop up the accessories so that the glue could dry properly and in the right position and then the accessories wouldn't be sliding off everywhere. So 
So here are what my little gingerbread siblings look like once they're completely finished. I'm really happy with the way these turned out. Of course, we've got the sister here with the rainbow sprinkles holding the little bear and the bow on her head. And then the boy's also super cute as well with the little chocolate chunks and also his little sword. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.